turned on and you don't want to make any huge claims in your headline. We just had a, a client come through that was making a bit of a claim right in her headline. And it might've been a reason why a very new business manager got shut down right away. <laughs>
any um, DMCA, Digital Millennium Copyright Act stuff, um, any um, general legal notices, and then um, having some type of, if you're in the e-commerce product search function and a social links page at the very, very bottom in the footer too. Um, Want to make sure that everything's optimized for keywords, make sure that we have disclaimers on all pages um, and that we don't hide pr pricing or mention, you know, hotbed words that, you know, the, the bots might, um, might scan. And just like a really quick example of that would be, this is, this is like what we consider like a pre-sale page for our supplement clients. All it has in the header is the phone number and the name. And then if we scroll down, um, we could go through some of the components here that they use, but you know, everything that Keith talked about, the guarantee supplement facts, the, the appropriate badges, a 136 option, and then we have references here, expandable. We have return policy here, expandable. We have the Food and Drug Administration notification here. And we have legal disclosure, health disclaimer, privacy policy, and terms and conditions in the baseline. And also, in general, you don't want to have health-based you know, before and after shots on that initial page that people land on. And you don't want to make any huge claims in your headline. We just had a, a client come through that was making a bit of a claim right in her headline. And it might've been the reason why a very new business manager got shut down right away. It was, it was like, you will have these results versus, you know, uh, a, a more gentle headline in, in, in the initial um, landing page. So I just wanted to go, I know like really we want to get to um, everybody's page and, and do a walkthrough, but I figured that might be helpful visually to see that um, kind of page compliant checklist that we have. And then also to see it on the page there. Cool.